let's have a closer look at the included multi-device web GUI. So I've got here a tablet connected to this live environment. And um, as you can see, every PDU features a web interface. So that comes with the product. And if I were to log in, so this one here is in the live environment here at the Panyote Experience Center. Um, I was able to log on very easily and the interface is, is very, very quick. Your initial logon brings you to what we call the dashboard. On the dashboard, you can see your power, environmental, as well as security. Also contained within the home icon is the control and manage menu. Within that menu, you can control the outlets on a switchable model. Also, you can do power on sequencing. So if you wanted to avoid transients during power up, you do that through that menu. The globe icon walks you through the different languages that are available for the interface. The page icon shows you the types of logs that we have. The Gen 5 PDU features two different types of logs. One is an event log, which logs effectively everything that we have uh, as an action that we're taking. And the other is a data log, which logs all the power and environmental data contained within the PDU. The settings icon allows us to go into network settings. That's where I went to when I wanted to set up my static IP address. System management is where I would go to to do firmware upgrades or configuration replication. An SNMP manager, email setup, and email notifications. So if you wanted to set up your email right through that menu, it would notify you uh, on, a, um, on an alarm or a threshold that had been crossed. Event and alarm customizations can also be done through that menu. The trap receiver for the SNMP manager is set up through that menu. And then your thresholds and rack access control is set up through those respective menus. Let's have a closer look at system management. As we go into system management, under the actions menu, you'll notice you'll be able to very easily upload firmware. So if there's a new firmware released for the Panduit G5 PDU, you can go here, choose the file, and upgrade your firmware. In addition, once you have a configuration that you like and you want to mass deploy that, well, you can download that configuration through this menu and then hit upload configuration to every subsequent PDU that you are deploying to, streamlining that deployment process. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us today learning about the Intelligent Infrastructure Solution.